and welcome friends video lesson number five now we will discuss about setting chart settings and all functions how to add indicators your preferred indicators and uh, how to create uh, more functions using other information that can help you like depth news and heat map so something very important for this for you guys to understand that Cryptocurrency is very, very high volatility and uh, high volume trading is happening nowadays and uh, it's making you high all the time going on and making swings up and down very heavily. So please take extra care before you invest, understand the risk on investments and can lose all your funds, can gain up to 1000%. So I hope that you make do understand technical analysis before you start trading. Anyhow. Let's start now. Okay, you put your symbols here, or you can just click here to see whatever symbols you like. Like example, Binance Coin. I'll just do that, and you can see these things are happening in high volatility, and uh, the chart is here. Okay, and you can do anything with these charts, like add indicators, add Fibonacci, add all these things, and all, and save the chart for next time for any other coins to be done. Now let's start. Here is the first symbol. You put the symbol, if you want to put BTC, you can just put BTC and click here, change to BTC, let's say BNB, like I did just now, it came up, just do that. And here also will change automatically, with this all will be coming for your orders to be executed immediately through the chart. Here's the time frame. you can pick one minute, five minutes, 10 minutes, you can put your setting time, you one day, you can put today and all those things. And uh, you can see here, you want uh, one hour, two hours, four hours, and all those things. It's up to you guys. You can do it as you wish with these time frames and all. These are the adding indicators. Now let's add indicators. Let's say I want to add a moving average. I just type in here. You can say here, exponential, simple, time series, these variable and all are here. So I'll add one. I, I like to add normally five, but depends on people. How many, you just click five example. I will do five two, three, four, five, okay. Now I'll do add more indicators like I like MACD, a lot of popular indicators people they know, just go to MACD and you see at the bottom, MACD has come and uh, you can use a uh, stochastic, uh, which see the volatility, momentum, uh, overbought, oversold, okay. These things you have to go and learn yourself that how to use these indicators for uh, people to understand. Uh, what the use, how to use MACD and all those things. We will not explain in this video. Our video is for doing all the functions, set up all the indicators. Now let's see now, I get the EMA here. I added five, but it's only one line. So I have to go and change in the setting in the parameters. So now let's click the EMA on the, on the first one. You see here, then go to settings. You put here, you can do open, high, low, close, whatever you like. I always use close. You put five, 10 days, 15 days, 20 days, and all of those things up to you guys. I make it a bit thicker to number two. I change the color to green and apply. And then I close. You will see here, another line has come up because just now was 14 days, now it's five days. So five days and 14 days are making like that signals for you guys. Second thing, I go again for the second one. I click on the second EMA on the symbol over there. I do it, same thing, close price, I don't change. I make it 10 days to thickness to two. This is for thickness, okay? Color, I make it yellow. You can change here anything you want. You can see like that, lines you want to display, which kind of line will be like that. So apply, close. Now you see here, there are three lines. Same thing again. I hope you guys understand now this, how to add these lines and change it to a bit thicker. You can change more thicker if you like, it's up to you. I don't change these things. Make it red, apply and close. And you will see there now, you can see there are four lines. See, one, two, three, four, five, okay. I'm just changing again. I make it to 100 days, color number two. And then I do it as a blue example. Okay, make it as blue, apply and then close. You can see here, now you see there's five lines. But the last one is still saying the 14 days, I don't use that. I mean, everybody has their own decision to be made and I want to make two the same, but here the line, I want to make it like that. 
and make it as a pink color, apply. So this is just example for you guys to show you that what you can do with the lines, you have done it. And uh, even here, you can do like, uh, one second, I wanted to show you some more parameters. Here is the parameters, something like that. Okay, what you can just play around, you'll see what happens. Okay, you can uh, put uh, variables, visibles and all. Everything is here. Simulate, which comes through what cross to buy, what cross to sign, and all those things. Like off the simulate, you see here. Now example here, I want an MECD simulation. Simulation which will help me to know that I don't have to see what happens by sell according here. I just say when it cross up, the red line cross white, buy and sell, buy and sell like that. So it, it might happen quite often, which might complicate you, but it helps a lot in trading. Here you go. I just could, you see here, I think the simulate just now, there was no tick mark. I remove it and you check, the tick mark is gone. If there's like that, a tick mark has come, it will be show us. Means when there is a, the red, the red line cross below white line is a sell signal, okay? And you can see here, the red signal crosses the white line, it's a blue uh, buy signal. So but it's quite complicated. If you don't know how to use it, please do not, but it's just helping you that the, there's a line crossed and then you can add more simulations and all like that, but it, you have to do the settings, which helps you a lot how to do. A lot of people use MACD for the trading. Sell signal came yesterday on this price and it has gone down, buy signal came, the tracement happened, it went up. So it's, you have to understand how to use the, the indicators before you start trading, okay? So this is what uh, called chart. And now I can save it. How do I save that? Just look at that one at this here. Here, put here, save template, put a name, new setting, whatever you want. One might prefer whatever you want. Simple, basic, you can put it in, just put save. And here the template has been saved. Now example, what happens in future, you can just make another template. You don't want this one. You don't like MACD, you can remove all. You can add some new functions. Okay, example, I add another indicator. Let's see, like trend signal. Okay, here comes the trend signal. So I have done that. And now I add another template. Okay, example here, I can just show you. I don't want MACD as simulations. I want trend signal as simulation, just changing the mind and show you here, there was a sell, there was a buy and there's a sell, so and so. So just sample that example like that. Again, you go here, save template, go to new indicator two. So you will come to know that it's a different template. You can use any one you want here. So now you have two templates. You can see here, if you put a load, you want to load the template. This is one, I want to do two. I want to do one and load. And you see that indicator was not there just now. So if you don't want it, you can just delete also the template here. by clicking simple here, delete the template. So this template will be delete and will be only one template will be left. So close here, okay, example like that. If I load it, I just close, it doesn't load, okay? You need to click on load template so that it will load the template. Example two, load the template, here it comes. And my simulation is working now, example like that. So it is just giving you an idea. So you don't have to keep on changing the things. You can change the simple coins, simply like that, and it will come to know in the simulations and all like those. It will happen to you that easy way, how to understand that coins are working and all those things. Example, say Ethereum. These are quite popular. Here you can see here, it was a sell, a buy came here, a sell came here and all those things with this signal, it's confirming with this signal. So make sure that you know that what signal you're using for the simulation so that you can prepare and make it yourself. You can own even two simulations. Example I have done for that, I want for MECD as well. I can just click simulate and it come, but you will get confused because there are two simulations. So which one is which one you will get confused for that. So I don't use it. I just use one to help me just predict my market. Okay. And I do use trading and all those things. So now for here, what is next? You can use candlestick here. You can see we have a lot of candlestick patterns. We have Heki Nashayi, Renko, line break, Haki line, mountain, point and figures and all those things can be used in candlestick patterns over here. Okay, here is zoom in, zoom out. You want to zoom date to date, which date, zoom reactions and all those things. Play around and you come to know what is it. You can make a trend line 
over here with the line circle, it breaks out. I want to buy or whatever it is, circle it or triangle it. It's making a pattern. And you feel that if I see the pattern is breaking out from here, then I will enter. So you can just draw the patterns and see that whatever you like. And then you can just keep the pattern and keep as your here. And that in your, uh, in your uh, idea, that what action you want to take with side with these patterns. Okay, just give you an idea. Yeah. It was high today, low today, and it's going like that. And it's going sideways or it breaks down or breaks up. You can follow with simple pattern. If you don't need it, right click, delete it and gone. See here, all are here. Fibonacci is here. A lot of people ask about Fibonacci, this uh, Fibonacci arc. You can see it is uh, like an arc signal. You put it here, you can see that's Fibonacci retracement. Yeah, okay. Fibonacci, if you play around Fibonacci, I love Fibonacci and I'm, I always, I'm always a big fan of this. And here you come to know what happened yesterday. It dropped, it attacked this month, uh, after drop, it touched again on 38% and again it's down, standing on 26.3, 23.6, sorry. So you will come to know that we are, what plan do you want to do? Or buy here, sell here, buy here, sell here, buy here, sell here, or whatever you want to do. So Fibonacci, I'm quite a big fan. If you don't know, please learn it. Very important tool to predict the futures and predict the drop and support resistance. Okay, so here comes the Fibonacci. Here comes the air speed fan, GAN fan on this side. You can use this. If you don't like anything, you can just go to delete all drawings, delete all indicators. I'll just delete all drawings, gone. Okay, you delete all indicators. It doesn't matter what happens. I will just show you, done. But what, oh, unlucky, uh, unfortunately somebody has done it. I will do it again. Load the template, go here and load. You can see here, you have done. So it's saving your time again, not to do anything. So make sure that you save template and load template so that you don't have to keep on changing all the indicators every time and other things and the score. These are new tools, which is not available in the market. What are these blue, pink, red, green? This we call it, it's a bot. It's semi-conditioned auto trading bot. Robot system that helps you to predict uh, breakouts you want to buy on sport you want to buy on resist breakout resistance then buy by this call is trend line so this is called in the next video i will show you what is trend line how are these functions to be used and it is very helpful tool like this morning somebody had used it can save his money and even if somebody's using it for future with short can sell the when the breakout happen and you can make lots of money huge returns with this trend line with your own planning and your own system, your own mindset, your own will be secured and you feel comfortable with using trend line sell, trend line buy. You can see here trend line stop loss and trend line take profit. In the next video, we'll be discussing about that. So please hope you see these videos and enjoy. All these videos will help you to understand how to use our software with auto robot, 100% uh, auto robot and conditional orders, which we call it a semi robot. Thanks for watching the video. Goodbye.